So, but basically, I believe that everybody can play piano by ear. Do you believe that? Yeah. Maybe not? Okay, let me do a quick little test. Can you do this? See, you can play by ear, you know to use your tools when you put them together, it gets a sound. So you heard what I did, and you were able to play it. So I would do that all the time. So I would go to school and I would hear songs like... Now, I don't know if Old McDonald had a farm or not. I would go to school again, I would hear, you know, some of the... Uh, my classical teacher uh, at school, she would play some music, and I would listen around the corner, she'd play stuff like... And she like, get into it. And they just feel the music, you know? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually grew up in the 80s. Okay, and in the 80s, we had a TV, and much, much, I mean, we don't have these TVs on the phones like you have these days. Now, does anybody remember when we used to have those TVs with 12 channels, and then the U in the middle? You know, and you know that if you just put your, put that dial, the hanger at the back of the TV and the dial just right, you might be able to get CNCH or another channel or something like that, right? So one of these days, I was on the U channel, and through the black and white pixels, I was going, I got the nice angle, I started to hear, I'm, my ears just gravitate to piano. So I listened, I was like, there's a black and white movie, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hear a piano in there. This is what I heard. Get a picture of the black and white TV and stuff like that? Yeah. story is the setup what I'm going to be doing next. Now, I come from a big family, one of seven children, and we come from, I'm born here, but my background is Jamaica. Anybody Jamaican today? All right. Okay. Now, in our family, we used to get together, you know. There's not many people that, in my family, that play music. It's just myself, and then I had this uncle. Now, those of you from Jamaica, you know that. When you have a hit song today, by 12.01 a.m., there's a Jamaican version of that song, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I have this uncle, and not only that, in Jamaica, what happens is you get names based upon certain things. So if you were late for, let's say, coming to school, they call it Eliati. You know, if, if, if you were, if you ate so much, you know, sometimes we use the term Niam, right? So they call you, you know, if you ate a lot, you say Nami, Niami, right? So whatever, Whatever characteristic you had, that would actually be the thing. So what would happen is, I had this uncle, you know, he had dreads, right? And so we called him Uncle Dread. So what Uncle Dread would do, he would say this. I'd come to him and say, Uncle Dread, I, I, I learned this new song, you know? And he would say, and I would say, that's good. He would say, that's good music. I'm like, what do you mean that's good music? He's like, because that's reggae music. I'm like, how that reggae music? He would say, run the truck. <laughs> Alright, so you stopped there, but this is what I did. I said, Uncle Dredd, I'm gonna trick you. Today I'm gonna just trick you up. So I said, okay, if I heard my classical friends, they were playing. So I went to Uncle Jen and I said, Uncle Jen, I learned this new song, it's called Fairy Lees. He's like, yeah man, that's good music. I'm like, what do you mean that's good music? He's like, because it's reggae music. I'm like, what do you mean it's reggae music? He's like, because everything can have reggae. So I said, that's reggae music, Fairy Lees? He's like, yes, run the truck. <laughs> that wasn't the truck, but this was the truck. He said this. <laughs> 